What's going on, YouTubers, gamers, and fellow hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of On the Bench with Pete. This is a real impromptu uh, episode as I'm going to be mixing up some paint, texture paint, you know, like um, Astro Granite, um, Lustrian Undergrowth, that type of thing. I'm not trying to match it to any specific, I'm just going to make it up as I go along. Well, that's, that's to start with anyway, and I'm going to do that. So, um, yeah, let's just get to the bench. Uh, but before we do, this is a series you put on in the background uh, as you paint or build or hobby, whatever you do, driving to work, whatever it may be, sitting up in bed with insomnia. Here's a, this, this video will probably be a, a surefire way of curing your insomnia. So um, stick with me. Uh, make sure you've got something to eat, drink, whatever. If you're hobbying, get your models, paints, glues, brushes, whatever you need. Set yourself up and let's get to our benches. Okay, so here we are. Let me just set my little timer going. Now this is, like I say, this is a really impromptu session because I, I need some texture paint. So what I've done, like I do, I did a tutorial on this back along. So, you know, there's no, um, not really any surprises here. Let me just grab myself a stirrer. Sounds like my phone is going off, but uh, I'll just find I'll get it. Which reminds me, pop my own uh, video onto silent. There we go. Right. So I'll pop that one on silent. Um, I, I'm not expecting any any calls. So uh, so I've got my stirrer. Make sure I can see the actual time. And I'm just going to be using a cheap paint um, for this Reeves Ready Mix paint. Uh, this isn't a tutorial, but this is just what I'm doing. So I can talk about having another on the bench session. I've kind of finding my mojo again with regards to hobbying, which is awesome because I lost it for quite a while. So there we are. So that's just PVA at the moment. No, I need to get myself some more airbrush thinner. So I'm gonna put a couple drops of thinner in there. To try and thin down this PVA. Not not trying to thin it down, but um, just to start the breakdown process um, a little bit. I'm gonna put a couple drops of retarder in as well. It shouldn't make too much difference really to be honest but in this heat you know I don't want it drying up too much on me so this is just brown just a normal brown that's fine uh, well burnt sienna it's called um, so let's pop some of that in here this will end up being a probably a light brown but um, we can darken it up with some black if needs be Yeah, you see the general colour of it there. We'll put a bit more paint in with it there. These pots, I got them. These were um, ice cream things. This is actually the Rocky Road one, if you, if you look. On the lid, you just about to make it out there, Rocky Road. Yeah, like ice cream sundae things, like little, little ones, you know, it's kind of cool. Right. And let us put a drop of airbrush or two black in with it. Yeah, that'll grey it up a bit. So I'm just literally just mixing it around. Yeah, so it's it's really coloured PVA. That's pretty much all it is. Now for the fun part. The sand. Gonna add a ton of this in with it. 
This is difficult to measure, really. Because you keep on pouring sand in. Gives it texture. Not loads, I'm just gonna have a sprinkling of this in with it too. Put a bit more. Now I'm just gonna carry on mixing it up. You want it till it's kind of like dough going dry, really. To be a decent texture paint. put a another smidgen of these larger rocks in it, stones. Bit more. Because I remember doing this with a milk bottle top and I was just aiming to fill um, one of these basically so you don't get much in a, a small a GW pot as you know so here I am I am making a big batch here which will hopefully you know that's starting to look a bit more like it I have to say Oop. I was planning on making some others, um, like a, an astro granite, because that's, that's easy to do. You just put a bit of black in with the PVA and Bob's your uncle, you know. Have to make up a colour for this, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's more like what I'd be after. Still needs more sand. Keep on mixing. That's getting more like the consistency of a texture paint. You know, I'll call this, I don't know. I don't know what I'll call it. Uh, chocolate. <laughs> chocolate ground or something. Oh, I'll take up some name, you know. Well, no, I'll just call it Sienna Texture. A bit more. stock up my um, sand after this that's just brilliant now this will last me for ages you know
yes I think this is the right texture this is the right uh, consistency is that the word I'm looking for I think so I'm going to use it anyway consistency so my sienna texture and there there it is rocky road sienna texture in a pot nice big pot I can put that to one side that is going to be my texture paint for a lot of projects and voila there you go just putting a lid on this sand here so I don't spill it everywhere like I said I'm gonna to have to top it up Ooh, again later but for now I'll just um, move to one side and my burnt sienna and see what I've got. I don't think I've got any pens handy so I'll just I'll leave it for now I'll let it settle in the pot uh, what you do is every I don't know every couple of weeks or so just mix it up a little bit with a stirrer and it'll be fine so that reminds me Caliban Green how much of that stuff have I got Nearly enough by the looks of things. Oh, I do have another one. Got an airbrush version as well. Hmm, might use that actually. Might do that. Yes. Yeah. Might as so well come back to that. I was thinking of my dreadnought. Uh, this guy. Uh, he's not very. It's not very light, is it? Let me just reach over, put some more light on the subject. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so Dreadnought, I will spray him up. Caliban Green. I was going to go with the, um, like your Shabti Bone type colours, Carrick Stone, whatever, but I've decided not to. All right, Slime Marbo. Let's have a look at him. Oh, he needs a uh, needs a wash on top of that. Let's use Agrax Earth Shade. Agrax Earth Shade. There you go. We'll mop that all around the base. Like so. That's that. Let's put some on this kind of towel tester guy. Still a lot of um, tests going on with paints and colour schemes at the moment with regards to towel. So I, I'll leave that there. Great, what else can I do? Oh, I think I've done the um, wash on her. Right, so... 
around then. I'm just looking to see. See, I think I've done. See, charred brown, I think, is the one that's on there. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. Grey liner over there. Black, brown, tanned earth. Oh, these are the ones that came with it. Right, so intense brown. We'll use that next. I will use said mixer this is great painting as well as making paint so like I say it's a very impromptu uh, on the bench so I won't talk about stuff I've recently finished just in case you're following the on the bench series With regards to what I've done. But if I should start something new, that's not an indication that anything in particular has finished. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So put a dry brush in on this cloak. That's pretty awesome. I think I know what colour I'm going to do the underside. Um yeah, tusk or fur. So I'm going to do that now. Let's set that one aside. Pop a bit of retarder in with it. Literally one drop. Oh yeah. So still very dry out. Nice. Loving this weather. This has got to be my favourite summer for a long time. And I know people talk about it's hot and it's a drought and they want rain, blah blah blah. I'm in no rush. I'm liking this dry weather. I love it. Yeah, it is hot. Yes, it is humid. But I don't care. Right. Okay. Start off with a regiment brush. From Army Painter, of course. And yeah. I think this will be grand on the other side of the cloak. Of 
course it will have to have a wash but um, I think I think it'll look good like a sort of skin tone of sorts which of course is what it would be right so there we go Yeah, this looks good. Good, that's excellent. I'm just doing bits and bobs, really, odds and sods here and there, you know. Score fur. Hmm. It's a kind of brown. Yeah, green. Got Bile Town Green. And Coella Green Shade. Oh, I'll put Coella Green Shade. I don't get to use it much. So I'm using it for this. And of course, when I'm going to be using it, oh, it's my Dark Angel Chappy. Which I can't see without my glasses. My wife starts her new job tomorrow. It's the last day at her um, current job, uh, which is like a council-run uh, halfway house for, you know, um, youngsters. Um, so she ends there today, and she starts her new job tomorrow. So that's kind of cool. wishing her all the best for that I hope it goes really well I really do oh moly um, what should I do next looking over at Cypher thinking should I do some more on you the answer is probably but we don't know what. Hmm. I think 
a bit of screaming skill dry brush. Um, no, something whiter. them out the other day. I had them here. Now I'm looking for I don't know pallid witch flesh. Yep, like that. Yes. Pallid witch flesh. Like it might only be good for um, a dry brusher now. That's a shame. You're yeah, nearly half an hour in already. And that's the guy I'm thinking about doing there. Cipher. Right there. I may test my paint, my sienna paint with him. Actually, I'm just going to see if I've got um, a marker pen. dry whiteboard marker. Bear with me a moment. No, it's not looking like it. Oh, that's okay. I just wanted to um, mark my um, paint up here but that's all right <sighs> anyways pallid witch flesh Just on there, like so. Right, so. Test of the new paint, the new texture paint. I suspect it might need more sand in it. But it's okay, I'm just gonna put it on. So I'm gonna wash it after, anyways, so it doesn't. It really doesn't matter that much. Might need more paint in it, I don't know. I might think I'm mad testing my paint on Cypher. That's eh, alright, doesn't matter. Uh, 
these texture tools are really handy. Yeah. So I just gotta be careful. So this I'm considering this as the test for my texture paint. Very interesting. Well, this is quite technical, actually. <laughs> technical, technical paint. And this is when you realise Cypher's base is actually quite difficult to get in and amongst. Should have done it first and then super glued him to it. Oh well. Bit late now. I think we've done it though by Jove, I think we've done it. Yes, I think that's it. Nicely played. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Excellent. Cypher's base has been textured. Yay! Yeah. The, um, I have to um, mark that one up later. Yeah, I'm going to airbrush my dreadnought, so I won't do that here. That noise of the airbrush and so on. So, yeah. I think it's probably a successful texture paint it's coming out all right just following the recipe that I did last time which was purely pretty much accidental there we go going to be training later karate which is going to be hot and sweaty Gonna need showers right after that. Man, it's so hot right now. You have a shower, and you know, by the time you've dried yourself, you're sweating again. It's that hot, it really is. It's craziness. Anyway, 33 minutes in, and I need a sip of my tea. Put these uh, to one side. Hmm. If I can get at least two. Or three cups of uh, willow bark tea in before my wife gets home. I only have to have one this evening and um, yeah. I mean I don't mind, I quite like the willow bark tea, it's just a bit, you get a bit teed out after a while, do you know what I mean? 
Oh, yeah, so this is a good chilling on the bench. Um, so I'm looking at my gun drones. So obviously I'm thinking about what color shall I do? And the majority of the gun I want black gray, it's true. Like my gray liner. But there's just a couple of bits on it I want to um I want a blue for the little bits at the end. Um uh, cantor blue would uh, be what I'm looking for exactly. And the crag blue is a is a similar kind of blue. Again, I'm not sure. Incubi dark, that's more of a grey really than a blue, but it's a kind of a blue grey. Nagaroth, no, that's more of a purple, I don't want that, I want a blue. Uh, the fang. Yeah, I. Hmm. It's probably going to be a. A GW blue, I should think. Let's go with traffic blue. Just one of the little round bits on the end of the gun, and they've all. seem to have got them. Uh. Oh goodness, I die. Nothing's leaping out at me though, you know, Thousand Suns Blue. Whatever I choose, I've got to remember it. It's Hoeth blue. I think I might go Thousand Suns Blue. So there you are, people. Thousand Suns Blue. If I ever am in a fix and I need to know what colour is the bit I paint my ends of my guns on on the towel. Of course, I could pop it on there. In a second, I think, oh no. But we'll see, shall we? We'll see. Now it looks pretty good to me. Well, so so let me see. Today is day of the week, in that is, it's Thursday. Friday tomorrow. Yeah, I quite like that. Uh, 
there. Gun drones. Hey, they look, that looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't think I'll need any more detail on the guns, on the drones at least. Yeah. I'm I'm happy with that. Not that I'm intending on having loads of drones, of course, you understand. But um I've got so much on the go at the moment. I've got to try and cut down on a few things here and there. Now that said, you've heard me say many times, especially on here, oh, I'll get it tabletop standard, blah blah blah, and everybody's tabletop standard varies, yeah I know that. But so does everybody's best standard. But at some point, I want to do some figures to my best painting ability, or my current best painting ability. I uh, don't know, I'm thinking maybe the Age of Sigma ones I might choose to do that on, I don't know. It's not, um, you know, I'm trying to use favoritism here, but, um, I don't know, it's just how I feel. This isn't a mundane task, actually. I, I, I love painting these towel. Just gotta remember, Thousand Suns Blue for the little round bits at the end of the guns. If I can remember that, I'll be well away. Yeah. There we go. Last one. I'll do this and then I'll end because this is an impromptu episode, as I've said a few times. Don't really know what to call it. It's just, you know, off the cuff. There we go. We'll call it off the cuff. That's what I will call it. So I started off making texture paint for my projects. I expect mostly I'll use it on terrain. It's a nice brown though, that sienna. I like it a lot. So, wash my brush out, and I will end it here. So, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of On the Bench Repeat. Like I say, it was a, it was an off the cuff episode. I just ah, wanted to do it. Wanted to make my texture paint. I think that's more than enough to last me quite a while. My sienna texture paint, and it's just. You know, poster paint, a bit of PVA, a couple of drops of thinner, and I put a couple of drops of retarder in just because whilst I was mixing up, I didn't want stuff drying out. I mean, I wanted it to maintain its, uh, its, its not viscosity. It's well, kind of its viscosity, but yeah, I just didn't want it 
changing behavior too much as I was mixing so that's why I did that so not to mention that I mean the, the PVA is thick anyway so there you go and on the guns the little blue round bits at the end of a gun thousand suns blue so I don't forget or if I do forget I can look it up somewhere I don't know I don't know <laughs> someone can point me back to this video and say hey this is what you did and it's on this video so yeah I'm happy with that I better cut it for here because I don't want it to be too long thanks so much for watching remember all brushes detour and bye for now